my name is Austin Liable. I work for Pragmatic Works, and we are a training company that do training for Microsoft products like the Power Platform, Power BI, Power Automate, Power Apps, as well as doing training on Microsoft's cloud computing tool, Azure. So today we're going to continue my Azure Data Factory series on data flows, where we're going to look at a bit of a case study we're going through trying to understand our data. We've already brought our data in in the previous video, and if you have not seen that video yet, I recommend you go check that one out first so you understand what we're doing with data flows, understanding how to turn on data flow debug, as well as bring in data and create data sets. So now we're going to go through and work through a couple use cases of some different transformations inside of our data flows. So let's go ahead over to Data Factory and check out that data set and then start making some transformations to it now. So you can see here I have my data flow from the previous video where we have brought in some raw data that I have from some movies that I have been ranking over time from a, rank, a movie ranking company, Letterboxd. So we are going to go through and make some transformations now to this data set. I have some data here. I have some information I maybe don't need. So one of the first transformations we're actually going to make to this data is the select transformation where we're going to go through and select the different columns that we do not want in this result. This is very similar to writing SQL, but instead of having to write the SQL yourself or know how to write SQL, you can go through and just populate this graphical user interface and have the results available to you in a data preview when you have this data flow debug on. Again, if you want to know how to turn data flow debug on and work with data flows, check out that first video in this series. So now we're going to go through and again, select the different columns that we want in our result. So I'm going to go to our plus icon right here on the screen. You can see the little plus um, symbol right there uh, where we're going to add in a transformation. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Now you can go through and see that there are many, many different transformations that we have the opportunity to make inside of this data flow. And they are adding more all the time within Azure Data Factory. So we're going to explore several throughout this video series. And I'm very excited to continue to see how our data changes over time. Now, the first thing I mentioned that we want to do is go to the select schema modifier. We are going to remove some columns from our results that we do not want to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and select the select schema modifier to start with. Whenever you bring in a new data flow transformation, you typically want to give it a name. So I'm going to say this one is remove unnecessary columns. This is going to be what I'm doing essentially. I'm also selecting columns I do want, however you want to uh, phrase that, glass half full or glass half empty, if you will. But I'm going to go ahead and call this remove empty columns unnecessary columns, if you will, and uh, that has updated on my data flow transformation. Now down here at the bottom, I'm actually going to bring this up a little bit so we have a lot of room to see what we're doing. We have our different columns that we have brought in from our movie ratings. So there are some columns that I do not necessarily want. If I go back to my original source data set, I can see there is a date column, there is a name column for the title of the movie, there is a year column for the year the movie came out, there is a, a letterboxed URL, if you will, to uh, allow me access to go to that specific uh, website on Letterbox, which I don't necessarily need. And there is also my rating of this movie, what I thought this rating was. So for La La Land, I thought that was a five-star movie. For Arrival, the same thing. Down here for Get Out, a four-star movie, right? Now, there are, some, there are two different date columns here. One is the date that I originally ranked this movie uh, on that website. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. That is not going to be important in my final result that I'm working with. I do, however, want to keep the year that the movie came out. That could be important to me. I could potentially use that in the future for some more transformation. So I'm going to ultimately get rid of this date column right here with the date I ranked the movie, as well as the letterboxed URL. I do not need those things in my results. 
So I'm gonna go back over to my select transformation here, and I'm just going to simply get rid of those columns that I do not want. So I'm going to go over to the trash can icon next to your letterbox URL and remove that mapping. I'm also going to go to my date column and remove that mapping as well. Now I have removed those, so I now have, instead of five columns, three columns. I'm actually going to go over to Data Preview and do a refresh and check out how that looks now in my result. This might take a few moments for me to get the results I'm looking for, but this is a great opportunity to mention that if you have not already subscribed and liked this video, I would recommend you do that now. Pragmatic Works has a lot of great content coming out every week. Uh, subscribe to this video series on data flows if you want to know the next time that we're going to be uh, launching a video on our YouTube feed, so definitely check that out. Uh, also, if you are interested in doing any sort of training around Azure Data Factory or Azure Synapse Analytics, where data flows also to exist, I definitely recommend checking out our Pragmatic Works calendar to make sure that you understand and know the next opportunity you have to jump in one of those public boot camps where we do a deep dive to work with this content and really explore this quite a bit more. All right, awesome. So I now have my data preview. You can see from my original source data set, I had my five columns here, but inside of my select transformation, I have removed two of those columns and now I'm working with just three columns. Now, I also have the opportunity in this select transformation to rename some of these columns as well. So I'm actually gonna go back to my select settings and rename my name column and my year column as well to give them a little bit of a better title, if you will. So inside of my movie rating columns here, I have the current ratings, that, the current columns that are coming in from my source data set, but I have the opportunity to name them here as well. So for the name, I'm actually going to go in and call this movie title. I think that's a little bit of a better explanation. And then for year, I wanna know that this isn't just the, the year that I watched the movie, I want to know this is the year that this was released. So year released. And then rating, I, I think we can understand that that is my, my uh, own rating of these movies. So I'm gonna go back one more time to data preview. You can see this has not currently updated at this time, but I'm gonna go do one more refresh, allow this uh, the opportunity to jump in there and uh, do one more refresh, and then we'll look at our final result, and then we'll close out this video, and we'll look forward to the next one as well. Also, I will mention that if you are interested in looking at data flows and don't have time to maybe jump into one of those public boot camps, one of those four day, three day boot camps, that we do have an on demand learning platform that you can subscribe to where we have a lot of great content featuring data flows and uh, Azure Data Factory as well. So if you uh, want to just subscribe to that, go at your own pace. That is a great opportunity as well to go through, learn something new around working inside of Azure, uh, working with data data and bringing data in and doing transformations. Again, the great thing about data flows is that you have this graphical user interface that you can go through, populate. You do not have to know how to write code necessarily. I have not written any code. The code is being executed on the back end for me. So this is a great kind of introduction to transforming data, getting data to uh, be manipulated in the way that you want it for your set result. Now I'm going to go over inside of my select settings here uh, in just a moment, but where we have our results, again, I changed the column names of these specific columns. Uh, so I now have my movie title as the title of the movie, the year the movie was released, as well as my rating. So that is awesome. Everything was uh, being able to transport just like we wanted to in that. And then I go over to my select settings. I can see all those final settings here for myself. Uh, I have changed the titles of the movie. I have deleted the columns that I needed. I could reset the columns as well. If you make a mistake, you can come in here and do a reset. But for now, I'm going to leave this as is. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video again on one of the basic transformations inside of data flows inside of Azure Data Factory. Again, stay tuned for those upcoming videos where we're going to continue to modify this data set, continue to work in data flows and make some more transformations after our select transformation. So I look forward to that and I hopefully will see you in the next one.